New faces and new titles, calls for new photos. The new and reshuffled federal ministers, one by one, sworn in. Among them, Claire O'Neill, moving from home affairs to housing. Today, not buying into commentary, she's been demoted. I'm not in politics to play games. Instead, setting sights on Labor's ambitious target of 1.2 million new homes in the next five years. My focus is delivery, delivery, delivery. I recognise that there are literally millions of people who are struggling to pay their rent, who are dealing with rent increases, and a whole generation of young people who think they're never going to be able to crack into the housing market. Her new role will also see her go head to head with the Greens. A new salesperson selling the same policies, the same failed policies that the previous housing minister tried to sell, is not going to help anyone. They have successfully uh, penetrated the electorate with their narrative, and that is a narrative around uh, governments needing to do something quite drastic in addressing uh, the housing affordability crisis. The Greens want limits on negative gearing and capital gains concessions, but Anthony Albanese is steering clear of any commitment. What I don't do is get distracted uh, by nonsense rule in, rule out games. As the Prime Minister changes his front bench, she's calling on Peter Dutton to do the same after an inflammatory speech by Barnaby Joyce at a weekend rally. And the bullet you have is that little piece of paper and it goes in the magazine called the voting box. Goodbye, Albo. Smartest call here would be just to say, apologise for using that metaphor. Here we go. Here we go. I apologise for using that metaphor. The Prime Minister calling it a new low, particularly after the attempt in the US on Donald Trump's life. Evelyn Manfield, ABC News, Canberra.